Written by... Me. I'll be going back to Atlantis with you. Have you ever been off-world before, Mr. Woolsey? Sure. Once. And how did that go for you? I was nearly killed. Well, we will do our best to make sure that doesn't happen this time. I've never met an Asgard. You, I think, will love them. They got a great sense of humor. Really? No. What we're saying is that what we're asking... General. And if I'm a replicator... And I've just exposed my position. Again. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this. Here. Thank God I'm starving. Was this all you could find? No, actually, there was a lovely buffet. That sounded like an explosion. Because it was. Is Shepard attacking the city? Better be. Why can't he get back to us for two hours? I don't know. That sounded like another explosion. Yes, yes it did. What does that mean? Something exploded. But is it Shepard attacking the replicators or the replicators attacking Shepard? We'll find out. How did they even get here? Through the gate? I've been sitting next to you through the whole thing. Why do you think I have more information? Look, I told you I wasn't good at this. He said he'd be back in a couple of hours. That gives him a good 11 seconds. Overdue. Not yet. It's been well over 11 seconds. Yes, but you've been ignoring the dramatic element of suspense. General O'Neill, are you there, sir? See? Oh, thank God. Yes, we're here. You're late. Sorry, sir. I had to go into space and pick up some. Frozen goods. Whatever. All right. If you hear something, don't call out to it. Shoot it. Understood. Anything that's not me is a replica. So don't hesitate. <clears throat> you won't be gone long. Yeah. Uh, kind of depends on the temperature of the water. Not long. God, you can hold your breath a long time. You almost gave me a heart attack. <coughs> me too. Tell him like 30 more seconds of worth. I can do this. Yeah. Don't. Move. That was the worst thing I've ever experienced. It gets worse. Thanks for the rescue. Oh, hey, uh, no problem. No. You should be saying thanks for the rescue. Oh, uh, right. Thanks. So I guess that frozen replicator plan didn't pan out. Yeah, not so much. How's that plan B working for you? Good? Actually, it's, it's more like uh, plan C. How about C as in C4, if you catch my drift? No. Let's just say... 
that we're concerned the Daedalus won't be able to carry out your standing orders. What? To destroy Atlantis with nuclear weapons? I thought we were past that. Why are we going back to that? When the replicators try to activate the shield... The C4 detonates. The Daedalus beams a warhead into the city, and we all get vaporized. That sounds more like a plan F, doesn't it? As in, we are totally... If we can fight our way back to the bay, then we'll be able to fly the jumper to a safe distance. Look, that is if we can get the underwater bay door open. So. You can't even open this door! Hey, I'm working on it. Yes, I see that. It is over. He put his hand in my forehead. How can you resist that? Well, I like to close my eyes and think of England. Excuse me, but what just happened? We turned the shield into a giant replicator weapon. I knew that. You knew? Well, I've seen Carter crack enough codes to know that McKay was faking the door thing. He was? I bought it completely. I believe that was the point. Wait a minute, you, you used me? You're alive, and you're welcome. You see, Richard? You were good for something. Thanks. Myself. Mr. Wolsey. You, you want me to come with you? Well, I'm sure you want your report to the IOA to be as thorough as possible. Of course. I've never met a Wraith face to face before. Oh, well, you're in for a treat. All right. Major Lawrence team will be accompanying you. What is it? What's happening? We know where Ronan is. I'm coming with you. Gear up. Uh, uh, Taylor, this is exactly the kind of decision we were discussing. I was just about to meet Kanan in the cafeteria. Would you please explain to him the situation? You, you, please. All right. Well, well, well. Who have we here? Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Well, it's late. I think I'll head back to my quarters and change into something a little more relaxed. Taylor, come in. I thought you said you were changing into something more relaxed. For me, this is more relaxed. Suitable for an alpha site? Yeah, perfect. Well, except for the monkey-like creature flying around, but I think we can handle that. Monkey? Yeah, um, Kay's got some photos. He'll show them to you. Did you say flying? Oh, please. Control room, this is Richard Wolsey. I took a wrong turn in a transporter and ended up... I have no idea where I am. But now the transporter door won't open. Can you locate me and open it, please? Hello? Where have you been? On the other side of the city. Transporter malfunctioned and sent me to the East Pier. I had to walk all the way back. Try not to blow her up while I'm gone. No promises. Eight hours later. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. <clears throat> Today is an historic day. Robert Grossetesta once said... I would like to get started as soon as possible. Yes, of course. But I wanted to recognize... I have my... De Robert who? Never mind. Give us a second. I don't think this should count toward the minute. I mean, he didn't say no. Yet. I got it. I'm back in. We've got control of the ship. And not a moment too late. That's a new look for you. Well, you know me. It's function over fashion. Let's go home. Well, you want to unzip me? I'll look for a can opener. This is outrageous. You're telling me that one of the first official acts of your new government was to assault and kidnap my people? They weren't assaulted, they were arrested. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.
Believe me, not all of us agreed with this decision, but it wasn't taken entirely without reason. We've been trying to help you people. I only need to know one thing. Where are my people being held? I was Harvard Law Review. I was chief counsel of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Prior to that, I was an appellate advocate for Hartshorn and Slaughter, one of the most prestigious litigation boutiques in all New York City. Believe me, I can handle three tribal elders with a stack of papyrus. You have not filed a single mission report since I assumed command of this base? Because I haven't given you any? As you know, one of the changes I made around here is to require every team member to file mission reports, as opposed to only team leaders and science officers. Really? I didn't, I didn't know that. I announced it my fourth day here at an away team orientation meeting detailing changes to mission protocol. Was I there? Yes, it was mandatory. Because I, I don't Come remember. On, I saw you there. It's kind of hard to miss you. <clears throat> Look, my point is I want you to file a report every mission. I'm not good at writing. I figured you might say that. Use this. It's a digital voice recorder. Speak into it. We'll plug it in, and your report will be automatically transcribed and filed with the others. I'm not good at talking either. Taylor, are you all right? Yes, but Rona needs our help. We need to get back up to the control room. Around the corner, this way. Let me lead. Anyway, I just wanted to drop by and commend you for your exemplary work. Your courage in the face of danger continues to amaze and dare I say, inspire me. That reminds me. I know Michael attacking the city isn't really a mission, but uh, I filed a report anyways. Oh, oh, splendid. Thank you. Mission report. Michael invaded Atlantis, tried to blow it up. We stopped him, end of report. Can I give you a hand with that? Actually, if you wouldn't mind. Hello. Hi. Where are you headed? Back to my quarters. Um, the Southeast Pier, level 19. Ooh, penthouse suite. Nice. Have we met? Not yet. I'm Vanessa Conrad. <laughs> Dr. Vanessa Conrad. Richard Wilson. I'm sorry, I'm keeping you. Southeast oh, Pier. No, not at all. I have 19. all the time in the. This is you, I believe. Oh, right. Well, nice to meet you, Doctor. Vanessa. You can call me Vanessa. Very well. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. Thank you, Mr. Woolsey. Actually, you can call me... Dick. How's the kickboxing going, Amelia? Great, sir. Thanks for asking. Hello there, Chet. It's Chuck. Excuse me. It's Chuck, sir. My name is Chuck. Oh, of course, Chuck. <laughs> Chet's on the late shift. There is no Chet. You poached my private spot. What? Uh, what I meant to say is, you discovered my little personal area. Uh, this is where I come to be alone with my thoughts. Do you mind sharing it? Not at all. It wasn't pilot error. I was attacked by one of my underlings. You'll excuse me for being blunt, but why should we care?